Hello friends, I have made a Firebase pricing video a few months back and uh, got a lot of feedback that the voice quality was not good and uh, <clears throat> I had to I had to take the, the feedback from the viewers and then I'm creating another one with more better uh, voice quality as well as better explanation. So if you're a developer or a CTO or uh, starting up your own project with the help of Firebase in your backend, you must be wondering if you should use it or not in terms of, uh, you know, how much it's going to cost you, uh, how much it will, uh, you know, incur in terms of cost when, when you start getting more traction for your project. So what I did is <clears throat> I created this spreadsheet, which will, which I will take you through one by one and explain how much actually it costs to run a project, an app on Firebase. Uh, and this is based on my experience running an app for nine months almost on Firebase backend. So <clears throat> this will help you understand if you want to actually, uh, you know, use Firebase or not in terms of pricing. Okay, so let's get started. Right. So first, um, Firebase has two uh, plans at the moment. One is the no cost spark plan, which has a generous limit uh, to get started. And another one is a pay as you go base plan. Now, <clears throat> I would strongly recommend to add your credit card into your um, GCP account onto your Firebase account so that you can move to Firebase ba Blaze, pay as you go Blaze plan because it not just all it's not just contain all the generous limits to get you started, but it will also enable you to create a lot of um, functionalities which is not available in the free plan. For example, you won't be able to use cloud functions, which is one of the most important bits you will need uh, going forward in your application. And I'll explain you why. Um, so I would strongly suggest to go on a PSUO plan. So let's move on to uh, the spreadsheet and see how much it actually cost to to run uh, a project with google firebase pricing okay so the first thing the first thing is authentication as you can see here uh, if you use phone auth for all regions around the world you can send 10 sms's every day which is not kind of that generous in terms of authentication but other authentication services are completely free uh, up to uh, 50,000 monthly um, active users. Now, you must be wondering what does actually um, that means to you? Like what, what, what kind of very authentication you can have um, for free? If you have 50,000 monthly active users, authentication is almost free for all of them. And that's because if you have 50,000 uh, users coming to your app, and authenticating with, um, I don't know, uh, all the social uh, login system. For example, if I go on my app and sign in here. So I have Google, Facebook, GitHub, and sign in with Magic Link. So all of these authentication uh, with Firebase is included under this 50K per month active users. Now, you don't have to worry about these costs because I think once you have 50,000 active users on your app every month, you can go out and raise a lot of funding. That's for sure. So until and unless you reach to this level, you don't have to worry about it. And then again, you have 50 monthly SAML and OIDC um, authentication users. This is more for B2B uh, applications where people are logging in with their internal um, enterprise login uh, details okay so that's there whereas if you compare it with your blaze plan you will see that anything about 10,000 authentication every month will cost you 0 0.01 uh, pence well, well 0 0.01 dollar which is one one cent per authentication which is very very low and then you have 0 0.06 dollars for verification for um, an active uh, user, which is again on usage base. So it's very, very generous um, quota for your application by Google Firebase. Okay, let's move on to the next part, which is uh, Firestore, which is the storage of the data. So you, you have one GB in total, and then you have egress 10 GB, which means if 10,000 user using your application and they're um, looking at the results fetched from the database, from the NoSQL database Firebase offers, then un until 10 GB, it's 
free and imagine how much data you can store into a into a 32 bit um integer and and then compare it with 10 gb per month egress so that's a quite a lot of data you can um, get served on the internet uh, also this storage uh, contains 20000 writes per day 50000 reads per day and 20000 deletes per day so if you have 20000 writes per day uh, into the documentation that means approximately 600000 writes per month so imagine if you have let's say 1000 users on your application right you know because you're starting up each user is writing six uh, documents every day on your application that is 6000 writes um, in a day that is still less than what the quota is so if you have thousand users on your uh, application and they do more than 20 writes so basically either they do 10 comments and uh, one forum post and uh, one entity creation or whatever entity you have on your application things like that they have to do they have to do more than 20 uh, thousand writes every month to hit 6000 writes a month uh, generous uh, quota given to to you by firebase same way for reading let's say for example you have a search uh, web portal for example i have a search web portal for events so if a user searches for let's say three or four times that means um, the number of results you're displaying for example you're displaying 10 results on a page so if the user search for five times that means it's 50 reads for your application so it's quite a lot of data uh, um, reads available for you for every month so you know you don't have to worry uh, about it until unless you reach uh, to a higher uh, user base same way for delete and delete we all know that delete is the uh, operation which is performed very very uh, you know uh, inconsistently on the application so a lot of generous data on here also for delete so that's uh, there now cloud messaging is completely free either you are on free plan or blaze plan crashlytics is completely free again on the both the plans dynamic links are completely free and these these things are not cheap when you are moving or scaling your application so definitely definitely it's a good um, good start for for a developer to start an application with firebase 10 gb storage of hosting now 10 gb storage doesn't look that big uh, in this current world because we you know interact with media images and all these kind of media storage every day but if you have a simple application with uh, no no video uh, media files on it and you deal with uh, you know mostly text data that 10 gb is quite a lot of storage for your images uh, to be fair and for this you get around uh, 10 gb per month of uh, uh, data transfer for, for the storage hosting so you need to have like uh, I don't know if you have an image of 500 KB uh, or something you need to have lots of lots of these images on your portal and then these images needs to be open visit visit visited and if you're using Next.js with um, Cloudflare which caches these images then you can save a lot of images um, data transfer uh, on a daily basis so that's the pricing for the storage whereas if you go beyond that it will cost you uh, you know 0 0.026 dollars per gb again it's a gcp cloud uh, pricing and same for the database it's 0 0.15 per gb data transfer um so this is uh, how much the costing of google pricing uh, uh you know is for an application which is running for me for for last nine months and i haven't incurred much cost just a, a, a word of caution is when you start deploying these app uh, with uh, CI CD, make sure that you're um, you're not using Google's uh, automated CI CD procedures. So for example, um, build minutes because that will cost a lot of money to you if you uh, do it on a regular basis, and that can, could uh, get you a lot of big bill in your uh, GCP account. Um, so yeah, this is this is how this is what uh, I've been. 
plotting all these numbers in this spreadsheet to explain you how the Google Firebase pricing actually works. Um, again, if you're running an app, you would definitely need to run Cloud Functions. Cloud Functions are the, the source of running things in the background for your app. For example, if you want to send an email using AWS, uh, then you might need to create a Cloud Function on Firebase and then use your AWS keys and then send uh, emails to to the users and i have created another video for you which you can check out to how to do that but again running these cloud function will cost you um uh, quite a lot of money if you have heavy functions running in the background doing heavy operations so make sure that you're not using heavy functions here because if you do then it will cost a lot of money so um and in all in all if you're starting a new project and your usage is not that big and you are um, anticipating that you will increase you will get more and more users within the next uh, six to eight months then firebase is the best place you can start with it's, it has a lot of libraries as dks and uh, a lot of support from the developers community um, and then um, once you are there uh, once once your application is online you can check the traction and once you're there you can always raise funding and then get uh, the paid version or or more gcp resources to support your application but if you feel that you're not getting tra traction, you can always close down your account and then just um, get rid of it. So that's where we are. If you want to understand uh, how to develop an MVP or you need some technical help with developing your MVP, you can always check out uh, my website called People Sparks. Uh, we are offering uh, very generous packages for developing some really good MVPs. So our package starts with $5,000 per month and you can cancel it anytime. Uh, uh, you will get a portal where you can actually create the features and then we will make sure that all the features are up and running within a week where we commit to deliver it. Uh, you don't have to hire a designer, you don't have to hire a developer, you don't have to hire a DevOps guy, just one subscription and your features are rolling out every week. So that's the beauty of this subscription. So if you want help with your um, with your MVP, with your SaaS MVP development, book a call today with us and we'll be more than happy to help you uh, understand how we can work together with you. If you have any other questions regarding the Firebase pricing, don't uh, hesitate. Uh, let me know in the comment section and then I'll be able to help you out. All right. Thank you, everyone. And I'll speak with you soon. Cheers.